name's Ashley Rice and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay you guys, today I'm going to be sharing my top four non-dairy milks that we always have in our household and that we really, really like. These are very brand specific, but also I think just the type of non-dairy milks that we also really, really enjoy. And this is just for the people who are slowly transitioning to a non-dairy lifestyle, whether it be because you're lactose intolerant or you are heading towards veganism. I just wanted to share some of my favorite non-dairy brands so that way if you're looking around, this will give you kind of a starting point of certain ones to try out. Yeah, Mama. Come here. You can say hi to my kitty cat. He's really noisy today, so if he's meowing a lot, you'll know why. Yeah. Okay, but now back to non-dairy milks and not cute cats. <laughs> So of course my last name is Rice, and so if I didn't like rice milk, it would just be kind of weird. So I'm gonna share that one first, and that is going to be specifically the Rice Stream rice milk. This is one of the first few non-dairy milks that I tried, and I really enjoyed this. Uh, it's very sweet, especially if you get the original enriched. That's usually the one we always get is the enriched one, just because it comes with like calcium, vitamin D, like really, really good things for you. But what I like about this one is it has like some nice like sweetness to it, and not like candy sweetness because I can't always do that a ton but just like a general sweetness that is enjoyable and so I really like to use this one in like my cereal especially ones like cinnamon type of ones where it's nice to have that little bit of sweetness added to it whenever I do oats I usually use this one as well I do use it with my chai and hot chocolate sometimes but that one's not as common it's usually if like this is the one that we have left out of all of these, then I'll use it. We also use it for baking, but not as regularly as we do with some of the other ones that I'll mention later on. Uh, this is a kind of one that I feel like we use all over the place, but generally speaking, we usually use it a ton for like things that we want to be sweet. I'm not saying that's what you should use it for. That just is kind of what we ended up using it for. And if you're interested to know what type of non-dairy milks you should use when you're like baking certain things or eating certain things, I'll see if I can find this blog post that I thought was really helpful um, and I'll link it down below in the description box because I just think it really, really helps if you are starting out and you want to find something that's gonna work really, really well with your recipe. We usually pick it up from Whole Foods. However, I know I have found it at Target um, at our local co-op. I kind of see this one all over the place. I guess I don't know about like Walmart or Cub Foods or things like that. And we don't get any other type of rice milk. We only get Rice Dream. I don't even know if there's any other type of rice milk to be honest with you, just because we always go for this brand. And for those of you who are curious, I'm gonna list all the benefits that they label here. Just if you're curious of trying this non-dairy milk, it might be helpful to know. So it is obviously lactose-free and dairy-free. It has calcium and vitamin D in it, like I said earlier. It also has the vitamin A's and it also has vitamin B12. And for one cup, you are getting 25% of your vitamin B12. It is certified organic. It is a non-GMO project certified. It is easy to digest. 99% fat free. It is soy free, which is great for those of you who are allergic to soy. It is cholesterol free food. It is gluten free, kosher, and of course vegan. Another one that we have on hand is always so delicious coconut milk. You guys, we use this one a majority of time for our baking. There are obviously other ones that we could use and when we need something creamier, we don't always use coconut milk. I think we usually go for like almond milk or something like that. But often times we use coconut milk and I don't know why, but we just do. Um, I don't really use this when I'm doing my hot cocoa or my chai. Sometimes I do it with like my oats and my cereal, but not as often. And I just really like coconut. So if you don't like coconut or you're allergic, obviously this is not the option for you. Um, but I really, really enjoy coconut milk. I think it just feels really, really light and refreshing in a way. And sometimes it is beneficial to have coconut milk for some recipes. And like I said, that link down below will kind of explain it a little bit more. Though oftentimes you're gonna want coconut cream when you want really, really creamy things. Or if you're making things like uh, vegan ice cream at home, oftentimes they call for like coconut cream and stuff like that. But this is the brand that we usually always have on hand. I don't believe we usually go with any other type of coconut milk. I think it's always so delicious. And that's just because we love so delicious. Their yogurts are the main yogurts that I buy. There are ones that I like more, but I can find the so delicious like more frequently than I can find those other brands. But I just think they're a good coconut based brand. My favorite vegan ice cream is Buy Them, So Delicious, Mint Chip, No Added Sugar is so good. So it's just a company that we really, really trust to make good coconut based like products. Some information about this guy for those of you who are interested in that. It is a good source of calcium. It's got vitamin D, 
Let me see here. It does have B12 and for one cup you're actually getting 50% of your B12, which is way better. But I'm not gonna lie to you guys, you will find products that will be like, we have 300% of your daily value of B12. And you can't really overdose on B12, so you don't have to worry about that too much uh, for one serving. It's also got 10% of your daily value of vitamin A, 10 of calcium, 30 of vitamin D, eight of magnesium, 10 of selenium, zero of vitamin C, two of iron, and six of zinc. The next one I'm gonna show you is a little bit more expensive than some of your other non-dairy options. And this is kind of like a treat herself kind of non-dairy milk. We don't get this one all the time. However, we both really, really like it. My husband and I, and my husband is not vegan. He does dairy, um, but he does a lot of non-dairy stuff with me and I am vegan. So obviously I do not do dairy, but this is a brand that we found on Thrive Market. And ever since then, we've really, really become obsessed with it. For those of you who are environmental activists, this might not be the non-dairy brand for you, and that's only because it is made in Australia, so the cost and the air pollution that goes into having it transported to America is not the greatest. However, making this type of non-dairy milk is really, really good for the environment, so it's like, is it worth it kind of thing, and that's for you to decide. Um, however, it's a really, really good company, and I love everything they do. They're amazing. I <laughs> love this non-dairy milk. Again, it is more expensive, but it is starting to show up in more places. So hopefully that'll help bring down the cost a little bit more. And hopefully they're working on a way to make their non-dairy milk even more environmentally friendly just because of the transportation of bringing it to places like America does affect the environment. But that is Milkadamia. We usually always get their original or their sweetened one, but it's really, really yummy, you guys. My husband really, really enjoys it. There's a brand that he likes even more, which is gonna be the next one I mentioned. Uh, but before we had tried this, this was his favorite non-dairy milk, just because it was very similar to actual dairy milk for him. This is made from the macadamia nut. So obviously if you are allergic, this is not the one for you. But some facts about it, it is dairy-free, lactose-free, non-GMO. You're getting 10% of vitamin A, 45% of calcium, 25% of vitamin D, 2% of iron, and 50% of B12, and that is with one cup as well for a serving. And this one we really use for everything. Um, I don't think we use this one so much for cooking just because it is bougier, so we like to use this one more for things like our hot cocoa and chai and like things like that, coffee, if my husband is adding it to his coffee at all. We like to use this one in like kind of nicer things, though we do use it for cereal. And if it's the only one we have on hand, of course we use it for cooking. Or if we're making a really, really nice dinner, we might use this one as well. And I like that they're very much trying to have an eco-friendly uh, company as much as is possible in our day and age. But now it's time for the last one. And this is by far, I think the most popular non-dairy option when it comes to vegans. Every Veganuary, it always sells out. You can barely find it. And Veganuary happens every January, roughly. People can do it other times of the year, but that's mostly when it happens. And you guys, it just flies off the shelves. And that is the brand Oatly. They are an oat milk. One thing I'll say right away, my husband is obsessed with this brand. And again, he is not vegan. He drinks dairy, he eats dairy, and he loves this brand. And that's because to him, this is very, very similar to dairy milk. So it's an easy transition for him. It's really, really simple to use this. And it's obviously made from oats. Let me see, it is gluten-free as well for anyone who has a gluten intolerancy. It is full of fat. There is no dairy, no nuts. This one specifically does have omega-3 in it, which is why we bought it. I'll be honest with you, usually we buy the original one. However, we just spotted this the last time we went to the store and we're like, omega-3s, that's so important to have, especially on a vegan diet. And it's something that you just have to be aware of. It's a little bit trickier to get on the vegan diet, but so long as you're aware of it, you're making sure you're getting it, you'll be just fine. It's really not that hard. But I like to try and be lazy and find it wherever I possibly can so I don't have to think about it. So we picked this up, though this will be the first time I've ever trying it, so I don't really know what this one specifically tastes like. But the original one is really, really good. Their chocolate milk is delicious. It's so good. My husband is obsessed with that one as well. And this is definitely the best-selling oat milk that is out there. Um, there are some other brands that are trying to do oat recently, and I actually have a video coming out later with my friends and I trying a bunch of different oat milks to kind of see which one's the best, which ones do we like, which ones do we not like, what do they taste like. So if you're interested in that, make sure you have clicked the bell so you can get notified for that guy. But this guy is definitely a staple in our household whenever we can. We always buy it and it is a lot easier to find on the shelves when it is not January, which is awesome. And same thing goes for this one. Uh, we generally use this one for everything. I don't think there's anything we don't use it for. Like we use it in baking, we use it in cooking, we use it for our drinks that we need some non-dairy options for. 
We use it in cereal and I'm excited to have the omega-3 version to have as well. So speaking specifically about this one, it obviously has all the stuff that I mentioned earlier. It is non-GMO. You want to recycle this container and you're getting for one cup, you are getting 20% of your vitamin D, 25% of calcium, 2% of iron, 8% of potassium, 20% of vitamin A, 45% riboflavin, you're getting 50% of your vitamin B12 and 20% of phosphorus. I wonder how much of your omegas you're getting. I don't know if it's gonna tell me this. So it doesn't really say how much of your omegas you're getting in a serving. However, I'm assuming it's a really, really good portion. But those are the main four non-dairy options for milk that we carry around in our household at all times. Definitely, I think the Oatly one is the one that we are always having in the household. And then outside of that, rice milk, I would say is the second highest, and then coconut milk, and then milkadamia. Um, obviously, we do carry some occasional other ones. Like sometimes we'll buy a house brand of almond milk if we just need to like really save on money that month or that week for groceries. But we're not picky about what brand we use for almond milk. Soy milk, we never really, really buy. And I'm gonna be honest with you, that's mostly because even when I was vegetarian, I did a lot of soy milk. I'm kind of sick of it. And also soy in large doses is not the best for you. And I get soy in a lot of other products in my life. So um, I just choose not to do soy milk unless it's like my only option. Then of course I do that over dairy milk. Personally, I'm not a fan of flax milk and that is taste preferences. Again, it's really great because flax has omegas in it. So if you're looking for something that has a good concentration of omegas, flax milk would be absolutely amazing. Me personally, I'm not a fan of the taste. I have tried a few different brands and none of them have really done it for me. Um, but I'm still willing to try because I would love to find a flax milk that I enjoy just because it is really, really good for you. And there's a few other non-dairy options as well. Um, however, I would say the ones that I've just mentioned are the main ones that we have tried or we buy um, or we avoid depending on which one I said. But that's it for today's video, you guys. I would love to know what is your go-to non-dairy option for milk. If you are vegan or if you are someone who does not drink dairy, I would love to know that down below in the comments. Also, if you are new to my channel, I'd absolutely love it if you would subscribe and click the little bell that is down below so you can get notified for my future videos, including the oat milk taste test that will be coming out in a week or so. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.